Grapevine Resale, I have another mystery box out of storage we're gonna open. It says kitchen on it. It also says Taco Bell seasoned beef. I hope it's not that. Great finds, I got another box out of storage. We haven't opened this one yet. I doubt it's gonna be that big box of silver like I had a few days ago, but you never know. This is in a seasoned beef. Now it also says kitchen on here which might be a junk drawer, seasoned beef. I saw over here it says best used by 1212. I pray there's not seasoned beef in here. Get yourself a good knife if you're gonna open boxes. It's always good to have a good knife. Open this box here. And enough with the tape, peep. Come on, you're just tape, you're storing it. It's not going across the country. Anyway. So anyway, you probably want to be careful when you're opening boxes because you never know what's inside. So, there's some different things. Ohio State, first thing I see is in Ohio State. This, go Buckeyes, we are in the Buckeye State. Well, this is a Scentsy. Okay, so this is a Scentsy, Ohio State branded. Anything Ohio State around here goes really well. One of the most successful football programs. This They probably put this away because they didn't smell too good a couple weeks ago, unfortunately. Let me see if that is actually in the box. Looks new. I don't know what these things are. Oh, it is in here. Okay. I'm not sure what this goes for. I'll look it up. I'll put it on the screen. And... Still kind of cool for an Ohio State fan. Looks like it's brand new. Looks like it's never been used because these things are impossible to make them look like new after they're not new. It's like that barbecue grill. Looks great the first time. Second time, looks like you had it 20 years. So let's see what else is in here. Hopefully something cool. I got different things. Ooh, all right, this is cool. All right, this is a bank bag from Farmer's Bank. And please, looks like an empty bank bag from Farmer's Bank. Doesn't look that old. Captain D. Maybe that was a restaurant. That's why they're out of business. They don't have a book bank back here. There's a key to it. It's kind of cool. You could lock it. I don't know why you lock this bag. Someone's going to steal this and just rip this open. But, hey, if it makes you feel better. Those can go okay. Those are all right. Got to plug okay now this says jvc this is a plug you see a lot of plugs out there but this is a jvc plug and it has the model number and what it's to it's specific these actually you can make 10 to 20 dollars on these sometimes because they'll have something that this is specific to that they want they want the original one i don't know what this to this is really heavy all right oh this is cool oh the undertaker a little doll a little doll i like that I think he made no, he probably did something at one time, but he's been gone too long. This is, well, I've never, this is a Wii remote, a Wii remote Lego brand. It looks like it's missing a couple of the pieces, also missing the back. This looks like a Wii remote. I'm not familiar with this one. And I don't know if you built it yourself or, I don't know, it's pretty cool. This is... Oh, this is a portable TV. You'd be the coolest person on earth if you had this. Watch TV, go to the ball game, watch this. These, unfortunately, won't work because of the signals anymore. But you can probably, if you like the sound of static, you could probably put batteries and hear this. But since we now have the digital, you'd have to have a digital converter, and you might as well just watch it on your phone. I don't know if there's any collectability there. Oh, we have some. We have a couple of Pez dispensers. These are pretty common. There's a witch. The Pez dispensers that are worth the most are the ones without the feet. These have feet on them. The original ones did not have feet. I know those don't look like very stable feet, but those are feet. Let's see if there's any candy. Candy never lasts. These are two different Santa Clauses. One has his eyes closed and one has his eye open. Sleeping Santa Claus, not sleeping. All right. Oh, well, this is pretty sweet. This is a Dutch Boy Puppet. I am not familiar with these. Apparently Dutch Boy the Paint. 
He's got the little haircut. He has a puppet. He does look intact. I don't know. You pretend to paint with him? Who, who knows? This is... Oh, that's a bullet mold. The easy-to-use bullet mold takes the work out of bullet casting. Oh. I didn't know there was work to bullet casting. Let's see what this is. Oh, yeah. It has been used. If you can open that. Well, maybe it's seen its last bullet. Maybe that's why it's in here. There's a lot. Oh, there's a lot of lighters in here. Okay, lighters. Lighters in general are not going to be worth any big money. Now, this one's in the case. It's a butane. They made a lot of cheap lighters. I'm not so sure. No. Especially these. These these never lit. This is the same thing. Open that one up. Doesn't look like you're ever going to get a flame out of that thing. Advertising. Okay, someone saved a lot of lighters. You're not going to get a lot of lighters. Oh, that's an old cigarette holder. Nobody uses this anymore. Computer, TV. Remember when we had antennas? That's how you used it. That, that was the original cable. Let's see what else we got in here. A giant spring. No clue. Let's see. This original crystal puzzle 3D. Actually, these there's a lot of these. These are pretty tough puzzles. I don't know if this one is a tough puzzle, but this is a crystal puzzle. Doesn't look that old. What you do? Well, I know what you do with it. You put it together. There's a very menacing-looking Ninja Turtle. You want to look for the ears, usually. On their back and their feet. Sure. Let's see. This is a really cool ashtray. Let's see what it says. Almost looks marble, kind of marbly. This this thing's pretty awesome, actually. I don't see a maker on it. I know marbles in general can go for good money. I don't know what. There is a... The marble place did make some ashtrays, and those can go for big, big money, but those are marked. I don't see a marking on this. This... Oh, this is this is an old... Uh, this is an old portable ashtray. So you could just take your ashtray with you. See? Ash in there. How convenient. How nice. This this is pretty nice, though. Let's see what else we got with more lighters. Let's some stuff out. Matches. Let's see what we got here. Just a pack of matches. People, Ohio Blue Tip, which is right out of Wadsworth, Ohio. It's a nice horse and buggy. If you want to collect those. Don't know what this is. That says French Ivory. Okay, French Ivory. It's not real ivory. It's almost the first plastic, kind of like Bakelite, that they made it. It's pretty common. You'll see it in like a lot of... Combs and brushes back at that time period. French ivory, not that collectible. Same thing with these. Same thing with these. If they say anything in them, I don't know what multigraph is. You have to find a collector of that. This looks like another holder for cigarettes. A little cigarette holder. These would be the non-filter. There's that. Well, these are good luck charms. Those kids that have to be lucky charms. Okay, so you could you could get these. They're, they're good luck charms, and they're different ones. Texas Rangers Hall of Fame, a souvenir. You can actually date it by the penny. Looks like 1982. There's a little good luck charm. Good luck charm. You can see where these people have been, because it's a good luck charm. Rittman Bowling Center, Texas Rangers Hall of Fame Bowling Center. Let's get these stamped. Sometimes politicians did these. Little good luck charms. I don't know what symbol that is. That looks like. Oh, it's a, do a dealership. These look like a bunch of good luck charms and Lord's Prayer. There's a lot of luck here. There's a ton of luck here. I should probably go play lettering. Let's see what else we got in here. It's like a junk drawer. It's like going through that junk drawer and you don't remember what was there, what you had. It looks like more lighters. As I said, most lighters, unless it's something specific. Now that's that's a little lighter. But must be pieces missing. That's where your flint goes in. I don't know what. I'm going to have to look at that one. Same with this one. That one's not going to be worth anything. Video game. Quest for Camelot. Quest for All On. Now, see, this has this is branded, so it has 
insurance agency on it. Hank, this one actually looks in pretty good shape. It doesn't have a flint in it. Same with that, nothing big. Okay, this L7, it's a keychain. Looks like it opens. Okay. Oh, this is another lighter. It's kind of a novelty lighter, not much worth. And I said mainly Zippos are worth money, but these can be. These are collectible, these are see-through lighters. They would have different things in there. You could actually, these would actually float inside the fluid there. You'd light them and this would appeal, of course, to a fisherman. And that, of course, to a fish. It's kind of a cool little thing. Not big money, but hey, your things are adding up. This is an old butane lighter. I want nothing to do with it. Well, the, the, oh, there's a marble. This is the Howlin' Owl. Howlin' Owl. It's back from the late 60s, I think. So much for being subtle. Just a little figure from the Pogo comics. It's not really worth that much. Yeah, I mean, if you get five, ten bucks, you're, you're, you're doing good. There's these little, all these little things that are the weighted. There's a couple of these in here. Not really collectible, just kind of cool. See, it's kind of like magic. And this was in here. Sparkster. Now, Sparkster, I know video games. This is a desirable game. Genesis aren't as desirable, but this one is. Um, Sparkster, if it has a manual in it, it's complete or golden. It does have the game. Sometimes they don't have the game. No manual, but just the cartridge alone with this box. I, I, I'm guessing 50. I'll find out. I will let you know right there what I found out after I do this video. There's a little, just a couple more things. A tiny little lighter you'd never be able to light. And then this is Hemorrhoid Suppositories box. Why you'd want to save this, I don't know. Or it's a physician sample. Maybe you do want to save it. Maybe we will be surprised at what a little box of supp suppositories cost. Of course, Southeast Police Boys Club. Anyway, this looks like a junk drawer. Most lighters aren't going to be worth anything. You can find some novelty ones here, maybe if it has a name on it. French ivory is not ivory. You're not going to do anything with this. This will bring you so much luck, it's ridiculous. Lego will find out. Puzzles. Gun mold or bullet mold. My guess is he's, he's worth some good money. This is pretty cool. And look for branded things just in case. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. See me go through this box. This is someone's junk drawer. There is money in junk drawers. I don't know about this marble. Marbles are literally impossible. Impossible because there's no maker marks or anything else. But it's a cool marble. It looks like jadeite, which uh, Fire King did a lot of. I will put that marble with the cool ashtray. You can pretty much get rid of most of these. I'm going to save to him. I know he's worth money. These sports games are going to be worth nada. You can use these as coasters for drinks. They're kind of nice. Um, Blue Tip Match Company. Anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Like, subscribe, or I'll send someone after you.